Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Courtney Ryan, and today we're gonna be talking about bad boys. And specifically here, bad boy habits that women find attractive. You've probably heard so many times before that nice guys finish last and bad boys always win and the alphas and the chads have the most success with women, but why is that the case? So I've done videos about this before, but specifically today I'm gonna to be covering what exactly these bad boys are doing that is attracting women. Just to preface here, I am in no way, shape, or form telling you to be a bad boy or to ruin someone's life or to manipulate someone, play games, and all of that nonsense. You guys know I don't support any of that on this channel and I would never tell you to do that. You should show up and be the best version of yourself, the most authentic version of yourself, and be a good guy. And none of that includes being a bad boy. Honestly, when people use the term bad boy, they aren't even talking about things that, you know, a bad guy does. So I think a lot of you watch videos like that and you get a little bit confused and think you need to act a certain way or be a certain way, when in reality, you don't need to do any of that or play those games or waste your time. So let's just tackle this video as things that guys that are successful with women are doing that all of you should be doing too. Number one, they're independent. The last thing you wanna do is be needy and clingy. This is a surefire way to get a girl running for the hills. And this is something that the stereotypical nice guys and simps do that a lot of people talk about here on YouTube that ultimately never ends well for anyone. You really wanna have your own life going on and be an independent guy who can stand on his own and be confident in the life he has created. Being independent and knowing that you'll be just fine on your own no matter what happens is so attractive to women and so much more attractive than that guy who is needy and clingy and desperate and blowing up her phone. Guys who are successful with women have their own life going on and in return, feel more comfortable inviting someone to be a part of it and girls find this so incredibly attractive. Number two, we've got a sense of humor. And I'm not talking about being mean to someone thinking that that's a sense of humor. It really is just about not taking everything so seriously, being able to have a little bit more of a lighthearted conversation and keep things light and fun. Joking around and being sarcastic every now and then can really make someone feel a lot more comfortable around you and not like they have to put their walls up and be super serious all the time. A big part of getting to know someone is letting your guard down, you feel more comfortable, you can joke around, um, and if a girl feels like she can't do that with you, it's gonna be a little bit harder for her to get to know you. So again, you don't wanna cross the line and act like a complete jerk. I think this is an area where a lot of guys get confused. There's videos telling you to be mean to her or act like you don't like her, and to that I would say do not do anything any of that, it's not good advice, but you should be able to, you know, kind of poke fun, laugh at each other, and throw in a joke every now and then. Number three is one that is so cliche and talked about all the time, but I had to put it in here because it is so important, and that is confidence. So we know women love confidence, but what exactly is it about confidence that makes it so attractive to women? So a reason why women love this is because it's incredibly masculine and it's been shown and proven that women are attracted to men who are more masculine because it shows dominant and leadership behavior. Women prefer men with masculine attributes that show dominant behavior. Confidence is a sign of masculinity. It shows that he is a strong and suitable partner which attracts the woman in his life. A confident man believes in himself and knows what he brings to the table and often that is very evident in other parts of his life too, not just his relationships. Confidence is sexy, straight to the point, and will always be more attractive than someone who lets insecurity run their entire life. If you've ever watched a movie or a TV show with like the stereotypical bad boy, there are always guys who are really confident and sometimes a little bit arrogant, which we want to avoid. There's a thin line between confidence and arrogance that we wanna make sure we stay in that confident category. Um, so definitely be sure to keep that in mind when you're interacting with women and really just in your life in general. But that confidence factor is really important and really helps in success with women. Number four is being direct. And this is one that makes guys stand out because not a lot of guys are doing this. Guys who are nervous and insecure around women don't tend to get the girl because they never go for it. The guys who are successful with women are able to pursue them, go after them, and ultimately get what they want. A guy who knows what he wants is sexy and girls like to be approached. I know things have changed and a lot more women would approach men, but I think it's still incredibly rare. And at the end of the day, most women would prefer to be approached by you instead of having to do it themselves. So a direct approach includes honesty, authenticity, and expressing yourself in an assertive way. When a guy takes the lead in initiative when it comes to things like approaching and pursuing, it makes her feel safe and secure, which allows her to embrace her femininity, which is what a lot of you guys say that you want. So if you want that in a woman, you have to be able to do your part and approach her and make her feel that way. 
Of course, women have to put in work too, and I'm not saying that you guys should be doing everything and taking the lead on everything forever, but in those beginning stages and for initial attraction, it is important to kind of set the groundwork there and to make her feel that safety and security that's going to allow her to let her guard down and be more comfortable with you. And you shouldn't be bending over backwards or putting a ton of work and effort into someone who's not giving you that in return. I mention that a lot on this channel that your time, effort, and energy should be reciprocated. So if it's not, again, you have to know when to walk away, but you have to be willing to put in the work in the beginning. We all know that women love confidence, a sense of humor, and success, which all require a man to be direct, straightforward, and open. Number five, we've got body language and social skills, two things that should absolutely never be ignored. Confident guys often have their body language in check. Again, think of the bad boys in movies in your head and how they've got that swag, they move a certain way, they're really good at eye contact and you know, making someone feel comfortable through their body language. So eye contact, being open and inviting in conversations, having an open body pose, all of these things contribute to your body language and the way that you're perceived by others. And I think often people over overlook the importance of body language and just how important it is for that initial attraction and interacting with a woman. Body language plays a huge role in a conversation and often shows how you're feeling without even using your words. So I don't want any crossed arms or looking at the ground. I mean, think if I was having a conversation with you right now and here I am looking at the ground. Are you engaged at all with me? No. So you really wanna sit up straight, make eye contact, have open body poses that make that other person feel more engaged and invited into the conversation that they're having with you. All right guys, that is all I have today for bad boy habits that women find more attractive. Again, I know this was more about how to be successful with women and, and what the guys who are successful with women are doing that maybe you guys are neglecting in your life. So be sure to give all of these a try if you have success with them and try them out. Let me know down in the comments below so we can get a little conversation going and give some guys a little pep talk down in the comments section. If you haven't already, be sure to follow me on Instagram at Courtney Christine Ryan. I love connecting with all of you guys on there as well. I do a lot of Q and A's and things like that. And interactive on my story um, to let all of you guys participate and be a little bit more one-on-one -on -one with you guys there. So be sure to follow me there. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all next time.